On day one, I spawned in the Sika Woods as an ice Spider-Man! This is awesome! I didn't think the world's greatest web-slinger could get any cooler, but hey, here I am! Things weren't all peachy, though. For starters, I only had 10 hearts. And for seconds, a giant buff pigless came barging through the trees towards me. Spider-Man, I found you. Wait, what? I don't understand. Don't play dumb with me, Spider-Man. I'm Pigless Polly, the biggest, meanest, smartest, and also most beautiful Pigless in all the land. And you've been trying to mess with my plants for years. Don't think that turning your suit blue would confuse me. I'm a genius. But I'm just Zozo playing, Spider-Man. There's been some kind of mistake. You will confound me not, puny spider. You better run, or my bubble brawler boys will beat you into a spidery pulp. I could tell when I wasn't wanted, and this was one of those times. I turned and ran as quickly as I could. What did she mean about her bubble brawler boys? But life soon answered my question. A gang of bubble monsters emerged from the trees and started chasing me. Oh, there they are. Using my enhanced spider speed, I was able to escape and find a hiding place for the night. Always oh, great to spawn into a world where someone already has a grudge against me. I need to figure this out before it's too late. On day two, when I got the sense that the coast was cleared, I spider climbed out of my hiding spot and started to explore the woods a little more casually. This place is actually pretty beautiful. Maybe I should work on building a home around here. That's when one of the bubble monsters jumped out in front of me. Oh, I'll build you a home, Spidey. Six feet under. You've got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. Lady Polly wants us to destroy you on sight. I still don't know what I did to upset your beast of a boss, but if you think this icy superhero won't be fighting back, you've just made your last mistake. We battled hand to hand. What the bubble monster didn't know was I had super spider strength, so my hits really packed a punch. After a few well-aimed strikes, I burst his bubble and moved on. Wow, beating that guy up really worked up an appetite. I need to find myself some nosh. Lucky for me, there were plenty of trees around. I collected the yummy pears from the leaves. Tasty! I knocked down the rest of the pear tree with my spider fists. With the spare wood, I made myself a wooden pickaxe. Then I dug into the ground and collected enough stone to assemble a stone pickaxe, stone axe, and a stone sword. I've got that caveman swag now. With my new stone axe, I gathered more wood and built myself a little spider base with a room for me to spend the night indoors. Ah, <sighs> nice and cozy. Things are gonna get better and better. On day three, I left my base and went out to explore the Jacaranda Forest. It was a gorgeous sight to see. Even if there aren't any useful resources around here, it's worth it for the view. But just because the view is breathtaking didn't mean that everyone who lived there was chill. Case in point, a big angry mutated bee ran over to me. What do you think you're doing here? Uh, I'm walking here? Are you making fun of me? No, I don't even know who you are. The name's Benson, Barry B. Benson. And I was just a normal bee until my human wife left me and I got turned into the superpowered mutant abomination. I, I don't see how that's my problem. Well, I gotta take it out on somebody, don't I? Barry B. Benson attacked me with furious intensity. And even with my spider strength, I couldn't defeat his divorced mutant rage. Instead, I ran away as he fumed loudly in the background. He sounded like he should chill out or maybe get into jazz. On my way out of the Jacaranda Forest, I ran into a sad looking spider. Seeing as I myself was also a spider, I decided to go over and ask her if she was okay. Hey, I'm Zozo, who are you? Is everything okay? I'm Spider Queen, and sadly, things aren't okay. Oh wow, Spider Queen, does that mean you're the queen of all spiders? No, I'm actually a one spider tribute act to the band Queen. They're my favorite. But Pigless hates Queen, and she won't let me perform anymore. That's horrible. Why not come back to my base? You can work on your act there. That's amazing, Zozo. I want it all. From day four to day five, I returned to my little base in the Sika Woods with Spider Queen at my side. It's not much, but it's home. It looks amazing to me, Zozo. Musicians don't make much money, and I'm super impressed by this. Do you want me to sleep on the floor? What? No way! I'm gonna build you your own room! So that's exactly what I did! I gathered up enough wood to make Spider Queen her own special room where she could jam out all she liked. Oh, Zozo, you're the best! I couldn't be happier! Take a second to hide in there. I think I can hear another bubble monster coming towards us! Spider Queen hid away inside the room I'd made for her as I went out to battle the bubble monster! Pigless sends her regards. We're gonna destroy you for her, one way or another. 
or she's gonna do it herself. She's gonna need to destroy me herself because there's no way you're up to the task, Bubble Boy. With my new stone sword, the Bubble Monster didn't stand a chance. He was soon defeated and I returned to Spider Queen. It's okay, the Bubble Monster is gone now. You're safe. We are the champions, yay. Thank you for saving us, Sozo. Here, have one of my guitars. It plays music while you fight with it. Spider Queen gave me the guitar and I immediately equipped it. Whoa, this is cool as heck. Oh yeah, we will rock you. On day six, I started the day with the wholesome act of sheep gathering, just in case I need the wool for a new Spidey suit. I wandered into the woods and after a long time, emerged from them, seeing a road. Whoa, where am I? I followed the road and soon found myself in a cul-de-sac with some really cool and colorful houses nearby. Is that a flying orange? At the base of the flying orange, I saw some sheep wandering around, just what I was looking for. I started to round up the sheep when an orange boy came bounding out of the orange at me. Get away from my sheep, you costume creep. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. I didn't want to hurt him, but he wouldn't listen to me. Richie, what are you doing? Leave that guy alone. Yeah, Richie, he didn't know those were your sheep. Richie stopped chasing me as three more characters, one of which looked like a bear, came running over to me. Max, do you know who this guy is? It looks like he might be dangerous. Relax, Beast. I'm sure he's fine. Whoa, that suit is awesome. Did you invent that? I'm something of a scientist myself. You guys are being so rude. What's your name? I'm Sky. This is Beast, Max, and Richie. I'm Zozo, and yeah, this is my Spidey suit. One of the icy variety, anyway. What are you guys doing out here? But before they could answer, I saw the last person I wanted to see. It was Pigless. She had found me, and she was wielding a huge, terrifying mace. Like my new hardware, Spider-Man? This mace is one of the most powerful weapons out there. Perfect for squishing a nasty little bug like you. Whoa, who is the little piggy? Max, don't provoke her. Can't you see what she's holding? Hey, who do you think you are talking to our new friend like that? Oh, glad to know there's no hard feelings about the sheep. This is Pigless Polly. She kind of wants to destroy me. Enough jibber jabber. I'll squash all of you then. Yeah, we'd like to see you try. We're not scared of you. Max threw down a mysterious item on the ground and a bunch of armor appeared out of it. His friends suddenly put on armor that matched their colors along with some matching swords. Eh, fine. No need to ruin a perfectly good neighborhood. But mark my words, Spidey. I'll find you again, and I'll be stronger than ever. Pigless Polly turned and ran, leaving me alone with Max and his friends. Whoa, guys, thanks for the help. I could use you guys back at my base. That sounds really fun, but I don't think we can make it. To answer your question from before about what we're doing here, I'm a YouTuber, and I document all the crazy adventures my friends and I go on. Yeah, if you've got some days to spare, you should hang out with us. You know, I could actually use a couple days to lay low after that encounter. Let's do it. From day seven to day eight, I, well, actually, you'll just have to click the link in the description to watch what I did on days seven and eight with Max and his friends. Our adventure is just in English though, but it was super fun. And if you watch, be sure to leave a comment on his video to let him know I sent you. From day nine to day 10, I was on my way back to my base with some sheep as a gift from Richie. When I arrived, Spider Queen came running over to talk to me. I've been building, Zozo. Come, check it out. She'd been building a lot, in fact. One of the first things I'd seen was the statue she'd been working on to inspire me. I couldn't tell what it was yet, but I was very excited to find out. Do you have any ideas? Let me know down in the comments. And the statue wasn't all. She'd also been working on some new buildings and upgrades for the base itself, including a storage room for all of our gear, a training room for practicing our skills, and a furnace for smelting ore into ingots. I'm so glad to have you here, Spider Queen. And I'm grateful to have you here as a friend. You're the best friend I've ever had, Zozo. Last thing I did for the day was set up a basic sheep pen and went to bed. From day 11 to day 12, Spider Queen and I relaxed while she practiced her music. I've been wondering, why do you think Pigless Polly believes I'm her Spider-Man? How can there even be more than one Spider-Man? I've got a theory about that, actually. I think when you spawned, it created a dimensional rift that sent this universe's Spider-Man into your native dimension while bringing you here, like a big cross-dimensional swap. Whoa, that's wild. How can you know all this when you're just a one spider tribute band? No offense, of course. I actually have a degree in transdimensional physics. It's more of a hobby thing, really. Being a queen tribute act is my real ambition. 
From day 13 to day 15, I returned to the beautiful Jacaranda Forest with a plan in mind. Defeat that dastardly Barry B. Benson, the mutated bee. He's gotta be around here somewhere. I mean, he's so aggro. I imagine he'll come looking for me. And I was right. After a little more searching, Barry the mutated bee ran in and prepared to attack me. There you are. You've been due for a good thrashing, Zozo. I still haven't forgiven you for your trespasses against me earlier. I still don't fully understand what I did. But if we've got a fight, let's just get it over with and fight. Finally, you're making some sense. And so, our battle began. I battered him with my guitar until he submitted. But I decided against finishing him off because honestly, I felt sorry for him. Go talk to your ex-wife, Barry. You clearly have some pent-up anger issues and you're not gonna solve them by beating up random strangers. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for all the trouble, Zozo. And with that, he left. But my act of kindness and mercy gave me some XP to level up. Getting 30 hearts, getting bigger and stronger, and getting a web shooter, which I could use to shoot webs. About time. I wonder. Whoa, I can also ride the webs as they fly through the air. Awesome. At long last, some real Spider-Man powers. This is great. From day 16 to day 19, I decided that I couldn't battle every baddie with just a guitar, so I went down into the nearest mining cavern to find some iron ore. Spider-Man, Spider-Man wants his hands on some iron, man. And my catchy theme song worked, because I did manage to find a vein of iron ore and immediately started mining it. This seems like about enough to make the tools I want. Time to head back to my base. But on the way out of the mining cave, I saw a dangerous zombie spoiner standing in my way. Wait, this is a perfect opportunity to try out my new web shooter. I started throwing down cobwebs, trapping the zombie spoiner in place, and slowing him down to a crawl. With him lodged in place, it was easy to finish him off with my rockin' guitar. Yeah, that power is gonna be really useful. After that, I went back to my base and smelted the ore in my furnace until I had just enough ingots to make a metal sword and a metal pickaxe, axe, and some boots. This has been an extremely successful excursion. From day 20 to day 22, I was having the most amazing dream when I was suddenly woken up by Spider Queen standing anxiously next to my bed. Zozo, I'm sorry to wake you up, but something really scary is happening. Oh no, what's that? I was playing Bohemian Rhapsody a little too loudly, and I think Piglet heard me. Long story short, she's standing outside. What? Now I think we need to fight her. It's too dangerous for you, Spider Queen. Stay in here. I'll go and face her alone. And that's exactly what I did. I got out of bed and ran out to battle Piglas, who was still wielding her terrifying mace. There you are, Spider-Man. Not so tough with all your colorful friends no longer around. It's time for you to meet your doom. I keep telling you, I'm not the Spider-Man you're looking for. I come from a different dimension. I'm the Ice Spider-Man. Well, even if you aren't my Spider-Man, I'll still settle for getting to destroy a Spider-Man. And you'll do just fine. If your mind's made up, then I guess we better fight. And we did, but this time I had a way better chance. I threw down some cobwebs immediately, trapping Piglas in place before pulling out my iron sword and going to town. In the end, she broke free from the cobwebs, but she seemed startled. You, you're stronger than I remember. Hmm, I don't have time for this. We'll battle again soon, and next time you won't be so lucky. She fled after that, leaving me feeling stronger and more confident than ever. If I keep getting stronger, I think I can finally take her. From day 23 to day 26, I spent some time at my base, calmly collecting myself and spinning together a new addition to my spider suit. I used the wool from the sheep I got from Richie and some emu feathers that were laying on the ground to weave some outback leggings. With these, I could move faster and dodge out of the way of projectiles. Now I've really got the agility of a spider. It wouldn't be perfect. There was only about a 45% chance I'd be able to avoid oncoming attacks, but it was the edge I would need in my next battle with Pigless. And if you think this adventure is getting wild, then you should search for more videos and see more of my Minecraft challenges. Just type ZO ZO into the search bar up above. From day 27 to day 31, while I was still hunkered down at the base in the Sika Woods, I noticed Spider Queen seemed to be struggling with her statue. What's wrong, Spider Queen? Sozo, I just feel so under pressure. It's pushing down on me. I want to get the statue finished, but I'm missing a very key component. Hey, it's okay. You've been doing great so far. Here, why don't I help you out? What's this component you need to add to your statue? I just need some redstone blocks. Say no more. I'll go and fetch some. 
Thank you, Zozo. I ventured off to track down large quantities of redstone, making my way towards the Twilight Valley. This place was a lot darker than the other areas I had visited. The shadows were the perfect cover for some bubble monsters to sneak up and ambush me. There he is. Get him. Piglas's orders. Hey, hey, come on, guys. Surely there's a peaceful way around this. Piglas can't be paying you that much. It's not always about the money, Spider-Man. It's about the Mets, baby. Let's go. Get a home run. Jerry, quiet down. Sorry, he gets a little excited about baseball. Oh, hey, where'd he go? Over here, Bubble Brain. I turned the shadows to my advantage and struck the bubble monsters in place with my cobweb attacks. They tried to swipe at me from the spots they were stuck to, but a few swing and smashes with my slamming six strings and their bubbles were burst. And just my luck, nearby there was a large deposit of redstone ore, so I gathered it up for Spider Queen. From day 32 to day 35, I continued patrolling around the Twilight Valley for any more signs of trouble, along with any more useful resources I could bring back. And while I was wandering around, I overheard the sound of distressed wailing. Help! Oh, won't someone help me? I'm far too important to need to ask for help. Uh, hey there, who are you? Oh, 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 <laughs> what a rather humorous joke. Quite amusing, yes, imagine not knowing who I am. My, you've cheered me up somewhat, small spidery peasant. Uh, I wasn't kidding. I don't know who you are. Don't know? How insulting. I am royalty. I am the King Pig, pig-headed head of the pig-head monarchy. Oh, my bad. Are you needing help with something? Well, it's about time you offered. My benefactor, the rich mummy, has run afoul of a hairy troll. And since he provides me with a lion's share of his wealth, I'm distraught. He's not even written me into his will yet, so I won't get any of his gold if that troll smashes him. You, uh, want me to go save him? Uh, yeah, I'm a superhero after all. Oh, a hero of the common folk. How quaint. Yes, yes, on you go, Spider-Boy. It's Spider-Man! Ice Spider-Man! From day 36 to day 39, I searched the Twilight Valley for any signs of this rich mummy, and eventually came across my first sign of where he might be, a troll's mini base. I watched from a distance, and it looked like the hairy troll was guarding the front entrance. If I tried to just walk up, he could smash me to spider smithereens. So I had to think up a strategy. How was I going to get in there? I need to take the troll out, but attacking head on was a bad idea. Sneaking around the back? Uh, it could work, but it might take too long, and the rich mummy might be doomed if the troll got hungry before I could reach him. Think, Zozo, think! You can do whatever a spider can. Oh, could I climb in? I tried on a nearby tree, but I couldn't stick to it. No climbing up walls for me, that stinks. I could ride my web shooter, but he will spot me immediately. That's not gonna work either. Maybe my best option was to look for another way in. From day 40 to day 43, I made my way around the outskirts of the troll's mini base, and lucky for me, there was a back entrance. Inside, I found the rich mummy trapped in a cage. Who might you be? Oh no, you're not with him, are you? Oh, ghastly, you must be his torturer. No, I'm Ice Spider-Man. I'm here to save you. Just keep it down. I need to clear the way ahead. Then I'll come back for you. I snuck through the base and spotted the hairy troll. He didn't see me coming, so I used the element of surprise while I had it. I spun my webs to catch him in place, but he was strong enough to tear himself free. It barely slowed him down. He swung his mace at me, and I was luckily able to dodge out of the way just in the nick of time thanks to my outback leggings. I retaliated by swinging my guitar at him, but the hairy troll had a high resistance to rock. Thinking quick, I used my webs again, not to get him stuck, but to blind him. It worked! I could get close enough to bash the hairy troll with my guitar and defeated him! With the troll out of the way, I went back to free the rich mummy and led him back to the king pig. Ah, Reginald, so good to see you. Thank you for your assistance, spider peasant. You may leave my mighty presence now. <laughs> so much for grateful. From day 44 to day 49, I finally made my way back to base to deliver the redstone blocks that Spider Queen needed. This is perfect, exactly what I needed. Zozo, you make the rockin' world go round. It was no problem, Spider Queen. Can't wait to see what you do with it. It was then that I took a look around the base. The whole place was in a real sorry state. I decided now that I had a moment to spare, I'd dedicate some time to cleaning up and improving the base with some defensive upgrades. I built a sturdy perimeter wall to stop any intruders from getting in. By the time I was done, Spider Queen had something to show me. Ta-da! Open your eyes, look up to the sky, and see! Wow, that's really something, Spider Queen! Thanks, Zozo. It's not quite done, but it'll rock you when it's finished. 
From day 50 to day 53, I awoke to the sound of a struggle. Spider Queen was in trouble. Zozo, help! Help me! I want to break free! I've got to break free! I rushed into action, but as soon as I stepped out of my room, I was greeted by a gang of bubble monsters. Rise and shine, Ice Spider-Man! I didn't order room service, guys! It's on the house, no charge! Speaking of, boys, charge! Outside, Piglet had arrived, and she was sending in hordes of her bubble minions to attack. I hadn't even had breakfast yet, and now I have to fend off monsters with all of my might. Good thing I got in my eight hours last night. We got that spotty you're looking for, boss. You idiots, that's the musician! I wanted the little brat in blue pajamas, not Luggy Mercury here. I was still battling the bubble monsters. By the time I had finally burst every last one of them, I had gained enough XP to level up. Wow, I've heard some people start their day with a workout, but this is insane. I now had 50 hearts and a new ability, Ice Blast. I was quickly becoming the coolest superhero around. There was one problem, I'd lost my musical guest in the process. From day 54 to day 57, I decided my only option was to return to the pompous King Pig and see if he knew where I could find Pigless. Huh, King Pig, Pigless. I wonder if the two of them are related. Nah, yeah, probably just a coincidence. A short journey later, and I was back in the Twilight Valley. All I had to do was listen out for the sounds of stolen money bags, and sure enough, I found the monarch in front of his castle. Oh, you're back. Spider something, wasn't it? Did one of my servants send for you? No, I'm here to ask you some questions. And since you didn't even thank me for saving your friend, I'd say you at least owe me a little bit of your time. My time is very valuable, like all the jewels and gemstones my servants brought me from far away. But I suppose I have a few moments to spare. My friend was taken by Pigless. I need to know where she is. Pigless? Pigless? Do not speak that name! You know each other, then. She's a traitor to the crown, a deserter. She stormed out when she figured out she'd never be next in line to the throne. Gave her a real complex. She feels like she's better than everyone, but still not good enough if she can't rule. Wait, so does that make her your sister? Or no, cousin? Royalty is confusing, and it seems like a lot of fuss over nothing. Nothing? How dare you? We uphold a proud and noble tradition of theft. Uh, I mean, a tradition of tradition. So where is Pigless now? I don't keep in touch. She said some very hurtful things about me which weren't at all true. But last I heard, she resides in Red Rock Mountain, although the terrain is harsh, so you won't make it there in one piece with so little armor. From day 58 to day 62, I decided to follow up on the one useful piece of advice the King Pig had to offer and set about crafting myself some tough new armor. I scoured the area until I found a cave that led to a mine tucked away deep underground. And in the mine was plenty of what I needed, diamonds! I managed to find quite a few, but not enough to make the armor I needed. Not wanting them to go to waste, I forged them into a mighty diamond sword for stronger attacks and a matching pickaxe to make mining quicker and easier. I didn't have to wait long to test them out either, as it turned out the mine belonged to a skeleton jackal who was none too happy about me mining his diamonds. But it didn't take more than a few swings of my shiny new blade to settle our differences. From day 63 to day 66, I decided, rather than rushing straight back into danger and venturing up the treacherous terrain of the Red Rock Mountain, I hiked back to base to catch up on some rest. That way, I could be ready and refreshed when I set off to save Spider Queen. But speaking of Spider Queen, when I returned to base, I was met with a saddening sight. Her statue left unfinished now that she'd been captured. I thought about completing it in her honor, but it felt too much like admitting defeat before I'd even tried to save her. So instead, I left it as it was. She could have the satisfaction of finishing her hard work once I'd gotten her back in one piece. Knowing her, she was probably looking forward to it. I settled in for the night right in Spider Queen's bedroom. That way, I feel closer to her. Watch till the end of the video to see if we managed to save her. And why not click that subscribe button down below to stay tuned for future videos. From day 67 to day 70, I made my long journey towards Red Rock Mountain, scaling the dangerous Crimson Cliff Face and being careful to watch my step. One fall and it could be all over. As I descended from the peaks, I spotted a path. I followed until I saw the looming structure that Pigless had made into her base. And the whole place was massive and absolutely crawling with her minions. While I was still scoping it out from a distance, I thought back to my mission to save the rich zombie from that hairy troll and how I hadn't been able to enter through the front, but had better luck looking for a second way in. 
So I tried the same tactic again, heading around, scaling massive mountains, swinging from one hilltop to the other until I made it to the side of the base. I saw my entry point, an opening in the side. I aimed carefully and shot my web shooter to make my way in. And I landed right in the middle of a group of bubble monsters. It's the spider! Get this sucker, boys! Think of a way to roll out the welcome wagon. You treat all your guests like this? I swung my diamond sword and instantly slashed the nearest two, taking care of the next with a well-timed ice blast. Another hit from my sword, and he was shattered to pieces, while the others were quickly stuck fast with my webs right where I could strike at them. From day 71 to day 74, I snuck around the inside of Red Rock Mountain Base, making sure to keep out of the path of Piglis's many minions. But there was one enemy I recognized. Halt in the name of Piglis! Oh wait, it's you, Zozo! Barry? Barry B. Benson? Black and yellow, hello! Um, how are things with you and your wife? Hard to say, hard to say. We're still going through it. We're planning to go see a concert soon. She likes jazz. That's... that's good. So you're not gonna attack me? Nah, you're good. I just need to think about some things. It wasn't hard to see that his heart really wasn't all in on working for Pigless. It's a good job. I mean, there's not a lot of coverage. No dental, stuff like that. I'm gonna go. Oh, sure. Listen, I shouldn't tell you this, but check the chest in the room up ahead. There's some handy stuff in there. I went to investigate and found myself the proud owner of a full set of diamond armor. Whoa, Barry wasn't kidding. Now I can match the speed of a spider with the protection of diamonds. From day 75 to day 78, I explored a little more and found where Piglis had left Spider Queen trapped in a big cage. She'd clearly been singing to herself to keep her spirits up, but by now, she was just yelling in case any of the bubble monsters were passing by. I just gotta get out of this prison cell. Someday I'm gonna be free. Oh, look, I want to break free. I've got to break free. Now? Please? Easy come, easy go. Will you let me go? Now's good for you then? Z Zozo! Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes! I've been so bored cooped up here. I want to get out and have fun. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. You have a bike? But you've got eight legs. Uh, I think it's a metaphor or something. Well, I've got just the thing to break you out. Gunpowder? Gelatine? Dynamite? With a laser beam? Close. It's a diamond sword. With a swing of the blade, I cracked open the lock and sent Spider Queen back to our base. She rushed off, and not a moment too soon, because Piglis had found me. You! First you intrude on my dimension, then you intrude on my home. I'm going to squash you at long last, puny spider! Piglis came at me, but I was able to freeze one of her feet in place, then web her hands to slow her down. I leaped close to swipe at her with my diamond sword, but just when I thought I had the upper hand, she knocked me back with a powerful hit. I decided to escape while I still could, and dashed out of the base. From day 79 to day 84, I was exhausted from the fighting, so the Spider Queen offered to give me a ride, which was really nice of her. We managed to make our way back to safety, but little did I realize that Piglis had had enough. That little wretch! How dare he try to defy my right to rule! He and the rest of this overworld will soon see that they shouldn't have messed with Piglis! With that, Piglis used a powerful potion to make herself even stronger. Now she'd be an even tougher fight when it came time for me to face off with her again. From day 85 to day 89, we arrived back at base, and my good friend Spider Queen, whose ride was surprisingly comfy, was super happy to be free from Piglis's cage. Piglis thought she could stop me and spit in my eye. But we did it. We are the champions, my friend. We sure are. Look, I managed to swipe this from one of the guards at Piglis's base. I thought I could use it to break free, but instead, I was just screaming, let me out. Anyway, I think you should have it. You're gonna take on the world someday. Spider Queen handed me the upgrade. It was a fire aspect and sharpness too enchantment. I immediately went to apply it to my diamond sword to deal some extra damage. Now, I had the power of ice, fire, and spiders on my side. Once I was done improving my sword, I returned to find Spider Queen putting the final finishing touches on her statue. Heyo, are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Then may I present to you my masterpiece. I call it Zohemian Rhapsody. Zohemian? Named after you, of course, Zozo. I can't keep living without, living without, living without you by my side. I like it. Makes me feel ready to take on Piglas one last time. Well, you better be careful. I saw she had a whole cabinet of potions to make her stronger. The bubble monsters steal them from King Pig's cellar and bring them back to her. Huh, maybe I can intercept them and take a potion for myself. That ought to level the playing field. 
And that way, you'll keep on fighting to the end. From day 90 to day 94, I headed back towards the Twilight Valley and followed a trail that the bubble monsters had left from the King Pig's palace to a small camp they had set up nearby. Just like Spider Queen had told me, they had a potion of power, but it must have been the last one left. Yep, that's the last one left. Hey boss, question. If Piglet's had us stealing all these here potions, why doesn't she give each of us one? Then we'd all be a tougher army and she could overthrow the King Pig. We're not about that kind of talking. The potions are for Piglet. I webbed the closest bubble monster in place, slashing the other with my newly enchanted fire aspect diamond sword. The heat popped them in an instant, and before the other two could get free, I cut them down too. I retrieved the last potion of power, but waited before I drank it. The King Pig's palace was only a short walk away, and maybe I could get one last favor from him. From day 95 to day 97, I walked right up to the King Pig's throne and showed him what I had recovered. You know what this is? Why, that's an excellent vintage. One glass is worth the yearly wages of my entire staff. You'd better put that back in the cellar with the others before I have you executed. There are no more others. Piglas had been sending her minions in to steal them from right under your nose. Piglas? Something must be done about that treasonous traitor. I'll take care of Piglas, but only if you let me keep this potion and be way nicer to your servants. In fact, stop hoarding all this fancy expensive stuff. Learn to share. Sh share? What is that? I'm not familiar with this common folk slang. You have a whole library here. Look it up in the dictionary. After a few moments of learning what sharing was, the King Pig returned. Preposterous! If I, how do I pronounce it, shared, I wouldn't have all my power and riches. But that might not be such a bad thing, if even a fraction of your wealth might improve the lives of other people. So if I, say for example, just gave you this netherite armor, then how would that improve anyone's life? Well, with that, I could take down Piglas, which is also what you want, isn't it? Yes, but confound it! What common or wizardry is this? You've confused me. I need to go lie down. Here, this is yours, I think. With that, the King Pig handed over an entire set of netherite armor. Now I had the most powerful protection against Pigless. On day 98, I returned to my base to make the final preparations I needed to ahead of my big battle with Pigless. I had my diamond sword at the ready, enchanted with a powerful fire aspect for added flaming damage. I had my netherite armor on, ready to defend me against oncoming damage. Plus, I had my ice Spider-Man powers at the ready. I even tested out my ice blasts and cobwebs, and they were ready to go. Before leaving though, I stopped by Spider Queen's room to tell her how to get to Max's neighborhood. If I didn't make it back, she would need a safe place to live. Now there was just one question, what was going to happen next? If you think you know, then leave your answers in the comments, and while you're there, tell us what video you'd like to see next. On day 99, I made my final journey to Red Rock Mountain and stopped just outside the entrance to Piglet's base. It was quiet, too quiet. All her minions seemed to have run off in fear. If they were that scared of her new, more powerful form, then I needed to be prepared. I drank the potion of power and this upgraded me to my final form. I now had a full 100 hearts and the last of my ice Spider-Man powers were finally unlocked. I could climb walls. Ready for anything, I headed inside to find Pigless waiting for me. She was much bigger and stronger than before and way more vicious. I was meant to rule this silver world. It's my birthright. And I won't have you meddling in my destiny any longer. Oh, I don't think so, Pigless. The battle was on. Pigless hurled a javelin at me, but thanks to my super spider agility and my outback leggings, I dodged right out of the way, then climbed up the nearby wall so I was out of her reach. From my vantage point, I fired ice blasts and cobwebs at her, trying to slow her down. Get down from there! She threw another javelin, and I went to get out of the way, but I timed it wrong and fell. I quickly picked myself up and got back into the fight. It was the toughest of battles, but Pigless seemed to be overexerting herself. I managed to keep dodging away, climbing the walls, and using my webs to slow her down, until finally I landed a nice blast. This, this is too cold. Don't worry, my sword has a fire aspect enchantment. It should help turn up the heat. With a mighty strike, I had done it. Pigless was defeated at last. On day 100, instead of returning to my base, I returned victorious to Max's neighborhood, where I was immediately greeted by Spider Queen, as well as Max and his friends. Another one bites the dust. 
Great work, Zozo. I knew you were going to be a big man someday. Well, I couldn't have done it without you, Spider Queen. Oh, you're too kind. You're the champion here, Zozo. Spider Queen really livened the place up with her music. But we're glad to see you made it back in one piece. Me too. And everyone should click the link in the description to check out the adventure we went on together. Then, much to my surprise, the King Pig also showed up. Zozo, my boy, you didn't tell me that sharing also came with this delightful feeling. I don't really know what it's called, but seeing the smiles on my servants' faces give me one of those, uh, what, what, what are they called? Emotions? You mean you feel happy? That's the ticket, and I've been reading up too. Did you know that all the traditions of the pig had monarchy are centuries old? It seems so silly to still be upholding them. So what did you do? Oh, I gave my palace and all my riches to my servants. Except they aren't my servants anymore. Just people. And so am I. Look at me. One of the people. Now, who is your charming eight-legged friend here? Well, you might be a former king pig, but she's Spider Queen. And we will, we will rock you.